Hello, my name is Michael Chang, and this is my demo reel. In 2005, Motion Theory hired four programmers to design procedural animation for a Nike Golf advertising campaign. We designed this application so that it allows layered animated elements to be composited over live footage of Tiger Woods and Rocky Ishii. This next project is uh, for Proto House, and it is a visualizer for their Fidget mobile application. Um, it allows you to browse content between you and your friends across multiple networks, such as Flickr, uh, Last.fm, and Delicious. Uh, as you can see, it's loading up all the Flickr images for this guy. Uh, you can also load up as friends. And uh, what you can do with this is that you can create tag magnets to, to easily see a distribution of interests amongst your friends. So for example, uh, Tokyo, Shanghai, New York, fashion, 80s, rock. This is a cell phone interface prototype for Nokia. We designed this interface to utilize semantic zooming. So all the interaction is done through panning and zooming. And as you get closer, more details are revealed to you when you zoom out, more general and abstract information is provided. Here's a populated view with a bunch of friends. You can flip the photographs over as if they were postcards and uh, view more detailed information about uh, maybe some private message they've written. And uh, the interface is designed so that it looks like a bunch of Polaroids floating in water. This next project is called Viewport and it's a zoomable interface that could be installed on a multi-touch screen. Um, in this demo we're viewing the Flickr account of my friend, Carrie. So the goal of this application is to be able to zoom out and see a ton of information all at once and in fact be able to see an entire photographic timeline when zoomed all the way out but then also be able to zoom in and see in high detail just one image pulled from Flickr and do this asynchronously so that uh, it wouldn't interrupt the frame rate. So we're also capturing a ton of metadata for these images. Um, including date taken, uh, comments, and tags. And with this information, we can do all sorts of interesting visualization with this. And what you're looking at is only a timeline visualization, but we've also developed a clustering uh, and fractals and all sorts of interesting ways of looking at photographs in large quantities. We've also designed a editor for the zoomable interface. So pretty much any element can be tweaked moved around, hyperlinked via zooming, um, can also be scaled and you can change their text and color. This also includes internal variables we've written such as spacing and size of thumbnails. And everything can be saved and loaded. If we've made a mess, we can just reset the whole thing. The next thing I'm going to show is a series of data visualizations that I've built at Yahoo. This is a zoomable interface that takes 2,600 children's books from the archive.org collection. And here they're listed from A to Z. And we can zoom all the way in, and the software will dynamically load all images from those books, all illustrations and their metadata. This is Yahoo Answers Cloud, and on the left you see Yahoo Answers and Questions, and on the right you see Word Occurrence. And this shows what's the most popular thing being talked about on Yahoo Answers right now. This visualization uses Yahoo travel data, and it shows you where people are planning to take their trips over a long period of time. This visualization I did with Aaron Koblen, and it shows over a 24-hour period of time who's searching what. Uh, here we see India searching for cricket, and Yucatan Peninsula is searching for Hurricane Felix, but notice how their data goes offline, probably they got hit. This visualization treats tags as jellyfishes, so each jellyfish is a tag and how many tendrils they have 
is how many links they have. The data coming in is from Delicious, and here people are bookmarking, and in real time we can see what people are interested in at the moment. This visualization um, is done by me and Doug Fritz, and together we both wrote the procedural animation and data gathering code. That's it. Thank you for watching.